like like you shared that you know uh, I've been asked to speak about the the success story of uh, septic liquid packaging business at uh, Uflex. Uh, let me let me let me let me start uh, by uh, by giving a very short introduction of, of what Uflex is. Although uh, you know a lot of you may know about Uflex, so Uflex is the largest flexible packaging company of India. Uh, we also are the fastest growing flexible packaging company in the world. Uh, we do a top line of around $1.75 billion that clearly puts us in a leadership position. Uh, we are uh, into a lot of verticals which are all related to flexible packaging. So we start with granules, we convert the granules to films. Uh, from films, we make flexible packaging, uh, laminates. Uh, we produce around 135,000 tons of laminates uh, in, in the country and we export to 140 countries. Uh, we do films, like I said, all kinds of films. Uh, outside China, now we are the largest pet film manufacturer in, in the world. But we do uh, we do films in polyester films. We do BOPP. We do CPP. Uh, we manufacture chemically coated uh, high barrier films, uh, specialty films. So different kinds of films, uh, you know, metalized films. Uh, we have factories all over the world. Uh, we have a factory uh, in America, uh, in Mexico. These are large manufacturing facilities for film manufacturing. We have three factories uh, in Europe. One in Hungary, one in uh, Russia, and the other one is in Poland. Uh, in Africa, we have two factories. We have uh, one in Nigeria and one uh, factory in, um, uh, in, in Egypt. Uh, obviously, uh, in the Middle East, we are well represented. Uh, we have a factory in, in Jabal Ali in Dubai and many factories, uh, of course, in India. Uh, and we continue to, to expand. We were packaging almost everything, right? Uh, uh, from solids, semi-solids, uh, powdered material, and working with brands, uh, like I said, we are exporting to 140 countries and we are a very prominent player in India. Uh, so brands like PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, Amul, Britannia, GSK, Nestle, Procter & Gamble, you name a brand, Mars, uh, we already work with them. So we package them not only in India, we package them outside India, in Europe, in America, and so on and so forth. So pretty strong global presence. Uh, what we were not doing was uh, aseptic liquid packaging. So uh, around you know, uh, 2016, uh, our chairman uh, you know, conceived this project. Actually, he conceived it long time back, but he, that's the time he discussed with me that you know, why don't we venture into uh, liquid packaging business? And I, I found the idea very, very exciting as to, uh, because there, there was not, uh, there were no players in India uh, besides uh, you know, a large, global multinational player, there was not even a single Indian company which, which had thought of venturing into this business as the challenges were very, very stringent uh, in this category. So we thought, let's take the challenge head on and, uh, and decided to venture into aseptic liquid packaging. So let me explain to you all of you what aseptic packaging is. Uh, and this is predominantly when we are talking aseptic liquid packaging, we are talking uh, of paper-based aseptic liquid packaging. So we keep the sustainability you know, factor very, very high for such products. And this, this particular product is growing at a very rapid pace uh, in Europe, uh, in America, and, and is as preferred as, as, as packaging over over, over, over all other categories of packaging, whether it's glass or whether it's plastic, pet bottles, or so on and so forth. So let me show you how aseptic packaging looks like. You know, most of you may know, but this is a typical aseptic packaging carton, uh, paper-based uh, carton. Uh, so few of them are here. Let me let me show you. Uh, different brands. Uh, it is a six-layer structure. Uh, so the top layer uh, is is poly. Inside poly is paper. The paper typically can vary between 195 to 210 grams, depending on from where you're sourcing the paper. It's a paper board. And it's a very special board, which is called liquid packaging board, uh, which has a very you know, high, basically a food grade product, which is a very stringent uh, process of uh, you know, manufacturing because it has to comply with all food grade norms. Uh, then you have uh, you know, poly, another layer. And then you have aluminum and then contact layer of two combination of two kinds of very high uh, uh, poly, uh, high grades of poly. So all these polys which are being used are, are food grade poly. So 75% approximately of this packaging is just paper. And then you have aluminum, which is again a natural product and very, very small percentage of, of, of poly is being used in aseptic packaging. So idea of why aseptic packaging, right? Aseptic 
countries like India, which are vast, the products need to travel. And we, we have, obviously, we are a milk drinking nation. Milk travels, uh, milk products travel, uh, you know, uh, products in yogurt, they travel. Juices have to travel. So the point is within the states and across states. So across geographies, the product have to travel. The idea is when you, uh, how do you make sure, how do we make sure as a, as a packaging manufacturer that the, when the product is filled and by the time it's sold, you know, the life uh, the, of the product uh, remains perfect in the sense that uh, the freshness is preserved. So our idea is, uh, our endeavor is to ensure that the freshness of the product is preserved for a very long period of time. And longer we can stretch it, the better it is for consumer, because then the consumer has time and choice, uh, you know, to buy it at at will. And in 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 between, the manufacturers also have enough flexibility and space to to manufacture and use the supply chain appropriately. So, uh, aseptic packaging, predominantly, uh, uh, you know, these layers, like like I explained, ensures that the product integrity remains. Uh, 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 remains proper and the product freshness is preserved for a long period of time. Uh, moving forward, uh, you know, uh, th like I said, this product is, uh, this is how the separate packaging looks like. It is basically, it's uh, used in three categories. Uh, so one is juice category, where uh, I have few juices in front of me. Uh, the other one is, uh, other one is, uh, uh, you know, uh, Alcohol category, uh, where uh, in India, I think alcohol is being packaged in aseptic packaging and it's growing at a very, very rapid pace. And the third one is a dairy category. The dairy is, is uh, you know, can be milk, milk products. So juice, juices, dairy and alcohol, these are large categories. And then we have all these niche categories which are coming up, which is uh, predominantly, you know, ORS, tomato ketchups, uh, you know, tomato puree, coconut juice, and coconut milk. So, so various kinds of, uh, you know, new categories are, are coming up. Uh, moving forward, uh, how we basically, when we got into, uh, you know, uh, so, so we had, we had, uh, we had all the basics in place, you know, when uh, coming, going back to, you know, me, when me and our chairman were having this discussion of aseptic liquid packaging. The first thing was how we decided how we, we can be different, you know, because when we studied the market, we studied that most of the players in the world actually followed the Scandinavian, you know, global giants. So these are predominantly two companies which were followed by whoever ventured, ventured into this business. So we saw a lot of Chinese companies started uh, aseptic packaging paper-based laminates but they followed typically the, 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 the large companies like Tetra Pak and SIGs. So typically, you know, uh, exactly the same business model was followed. And when we studied this market, we saw in the last 20 years, there was nothing, um, there was not, you know, any, any, any major step taken in, in terms of changing or enhancing the aesthetics or, uh, or, or making sure that the product stands out. So besides, you know, a little bit shape changes, so all products look like, you know, similar. So you may have different printing, different inks, uh, you know, but, but there is no, and, or maybe a shape, which is a little different, longer, wider, uh, so, you know, spherical uh, or, or, or pris, uh, prisma shape. But having said that, there was nothing uh, done on the aesthetic side, which makes actually products stand out in the shelves. So when we conceived the project, we thought how we can be different. And we came up with something like this from day one. So imagine, you know, a, a pack like this in the shelf and how well it will communicate with the customers. So we started, the point I'm making is that we started uh, the, the thought of innovation and, and thought of inculcating the culture of innovation in the, in the organization was from day one. And we worked on these, uh, these projects from day one. So the, the, the product that I showed you was foil stamping. This is uh, holographic, right? So imagine the, the, the attraction it will have at the, with, with the kids, you know, uh, or, 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 or specific target segments. So, so we brought in categories of holography and we brought in the categories of, of foil stamping and we brand we we branded these categories as Acepto I and Acepto Premium and Acepto Spark. Uh, so Acepto obviously is is the brand, and all these 
uh, you know uh, these these categories of innovation they started to do started doing well in the in the market and was seriously and sincerely appreciated by 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 our you know by by all categories of customers which i explained we obviously when we uh, when we conceived the project with the innovation we set up the plant state of the art plant in sanal we we put gallus printing lines we put uh, uh, you know the, the the best of the best uh, davis standard uh, extrusion lamination line the the ims slitting lines from from, uh, from italy so german most of the machines uh, are coming from germany the slit line the best is made in, in italy so came from italy the the packing line which is robotics and you know very very sophisticated packing line came from signode uh, usa so so we put a project which was which was technologically the best that the money can buy but the point is that you can put uh, you know the project and you can conceive the best of ideas but end of the day it has to be marketed well and it has to have acceptance and appreciation of the customers so we worked very very hard for last 4 years uh, uh, you know when we started the business and today we we work with all top brands whether it's you know dabur whether it's coca cola whether it's pepsico uh, you know uh, fresca the name name a brand and we are already dealing dealing with those uh, uh, top brands amul right in alcohol category we are dealing with all brands uh, 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 in, in 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 energy category like energy drinks uh, like from electrol enerzol so we are dealing with dealing with all top brands so so it was a project which was well conceived and well sold uh, from the value addition point of view we could offer to our customers that you know uh, how to make sure that their brand does well at the shelf uh, you know at, at the retail space uh, in the retail uh, you know in the retail area so we 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 inculcated uh, a, a a concept or culture of innovation uh, within the organization and outside the organization and that worked really really well for us in last uh, in last 4 years like like we were introduced that you know we grew 100% year on year but our cagr has been uh, you know uh, 80% uh, which is phenomenal and i you know we, 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 you can imagine that having growth rate of 100% in 2 years still when you, know, you start a project uh, manageable but every year if you double uh, you know that 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 is a real story and uh, we we just i'm happy to announce that in march we we doubled our capacity so we are no more at 3.5 billion packs we are at 7 billion packs but from march you know uh, the the month we doubled the capacity we are sold out so uh, i mean i have more orders uh, than my capacity today uh and not only we developed the market in india we developed uh, esepto as a brand globally so today we are we are a global brand to reckon with we are exporting to so many countries uh, we have over 250 customers uh, uh, you know within india and outside india and and going very very strong uh, so one part was you know making a great product take, making sure that we have a great consistency in the product uh, uh making sure that the customers uh feel that we 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 deliver or, or experience clearly experience that what we de- what we promise we deliver uh, but the other part was also that we want to wanted to be a very responsible organization uh from a septic packaging point of view so sustainability was one area where we worked very very hard from day one um we all our res- you know product waste uh, what what we generate uh, in our plant is is taken out goes for recycling and i can show you the products that are made out out of these so this is a recycled product you know it's it's a board uh it's a hard board so this is a typically a writing you know writing pad uh, a product made out of recycle so uh, these are sold also in the market but we if anybody interested we can we can send these products to you so recycling is one area where we worked very very hard now we also are the first company in in the country that will be coming up with a plant of separation technology uh, we will share this uh, details as as and when we are ready but we should be able to separate paper with aluminum and poly uh, so once the paper is separated you know then many products can be made firstly the paper can go for repulping or if we don't send it for repulping we can straight away start making egg trays for example you know or various other paper based you know or pulp based products 
So that uh, technology we are working on, and hopefully within this year, this plant of separation technology will be ready, and hopefully we'll be able to help our customers and our clients uh, in this endeavor of, of recycling more and more. Hmm? So that's where we are on, on the recycle front. Uh, moving forward, uh, uh, last but not the least, we will uh, obviously now, like I said, that March we started, and March we are, we are already full with the capacity. Uh, March in the sense when we double the capacity. So now we are looking at expansion. We are taking the game uh, uh, forward. Uh, our, our vision is that we become uh, number two company in the world. Uh, see, wherever we enter, we want to be either number one or number two. In this, in this category, aseptic liquid packaging, we want to be in roll fed technology. We want to be number two in the world. Um, and the way we are walking uh, our path, I think we, are, we have clearly chalked out the timelines. We are looking at becoming number two in next five years time, and hopefully we will reach there. So thank you so much. Uh, still a long way to go, uh, but, but uh, the distance that we have covered in the last four years from zero to eight billion packs, from creating a brand from zero to international, from where we are as SEPTO, and, 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 and our people who are exposed completely, who have learned a lot, developed as, as very intelligent shop managers, who are working now not only in India, but working and meeting global clients and, and convincing them that, here, listen, this is a product that we are making in India. And it, it beats the, you know, the quality standards of international, uh, you know, uh, large, uh, the big giants. So it's, it's a very proud feeling here for us. And, uh, uh, and we hope that we are able to take this business ahead with blessings of our customers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Ashwini Kumar Sharma. Staggering numbers, I must say, and wonderful sharing these details with us. One quick question from our audience is that, what do you think is a solution for low volume, uh, in the sense, few hundred kgs of multi-layer pouches, which has frequent changes in artwork, like almost every month for the flex in terms of the flexible packaging materials? So you see, flexible packaging is uh, in this technology. This is a different technology, right? Okay. Uh, so, so you have a lot of random. Um, I mean, you have a lot of uh, on the flexible packaging side. Uh, side, you have a lot of technologies today existing, which can cater to smaller SKUs. But when you talk of our business, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This business, you need to have a filling line. Uh, so uh, there are there is a concept of co-packing. So there are there are co-packers uh, uh, which are present in the country and of course globally. Uh, there are co-packers in India. There are co-packers outside India, where a customer can go. For example, you can go and you say that, listen, I want to just have five thousand packs, uh, you know, filled. And these are the guys who will who will make it. As far as printing is concerned, everything is possible. We obviously the cost goes up and cost is different, but we can print smaller, you know, smaller volumes. It's it's not a problem. So technically, it's possible. Technically, extruding also is possible because then we can join the reels and make you know uh, make smaller batches. Uh, but but uh, main thing is filling and filling uh, cannot be done as you know may not be financially viable uh, if they buy the filling line. But co-packing through co-packing route it's possible. Thank you, thank you so much, well, Shama. Uh, one day, maybe when you have time, we will request you or one of your colleagues at uh, Uflex to conduct a masterclass for packaging business owners about how. Uh, your factory, their factories can also adhere to strict global manufacturing processes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's, it's a great idea. And uh, sure. uh, I, I invite you, uh, you know, to come and see a plant. I mean, it's one of the best plants you will see in the world. So uh, we don't boast uh, that it's a plant, one of the best plants in the, in the country, but right. it's totally one of the best plants in the world. Sure. So you're most welcome. And we are very proud to showcase the technology we have.